Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is meant to be our productive DIY day today. It's Saturday. We had hoped to be doing the cooker hood installation today. Last weekend I did the tiles, really happy with how those turned out. I was dying to get this area kind of done, but we've been through three different cooker hoods, all have had issues. I will talk to you about that in a different video because today we've just decided to focus on the hallway. So um, it's now half 11, so we're kind of like, the day is just like fading at this point. Um, but I haven't really spoken to you that much about the hallway so far. I think we kind of talked about it um, in like the home tours and stuff, but there's been odd little kind of updates and stuff. So I thought I would just take you all the way back to when we moved in to show you what it was looking like then. So the whole hallway was carpeted in a kind of like orangey beigey carpet. Wasn't really what we wanted. It was all wallpapered, had our tech ceilings. So we have stripped the wallpaper, we have the ceilings plastered, those have been painted, the walls have all been sanded back, like filled, painted. Um, so it's very much a white shell. One major thing that we did actually have done is have the floor level. So our builders um, leveled out the floor. That was done back in... Steve, when was that done? For someone's wedding. Laura's wedding? Was that April time? Yeah. I think April we had the floor leveled. And um, we've obviously done the flooring, the wood flooring in our lounge and our kitchen. Um, and to be perfectly honest, this is like the frustrations with like renovating. We were putting off doing the hallway flooring because we wanted to do our bathroom first, just to make sure that, I don't know, the flooring wouldn't get damaged um, when we were like demoing stuff and kind of like bringing stuff in and out of the house. We haven't actually managed to get anyone to even come around and give us a quote to do the bathroom. I think like plumbers and stuff are just so busy this time of year. So that's kind of on pause. And I thought, you know what, let's just not waste any time. We bought in the wood flooring the other day to kind of let it acclimatize because it was in our garage, but we're just gonna crack on with it today. So let me take you out there and show you what it's looking like now. And hopefully by this weekend, we will have hallway flooring. Okay, so. This is the hallway as is. So we obviously have this kind of entrance way bit here and then it goes all the way down the hall there to all our bedrooms and whatnot. Um, so this is the self leveler that's been put down. So it's all nice and flat and ready to lay the flooring. The main kind of pain with this is that it is so dusty. And to be fair, a couple of you guys actually gave me a really good tip which we would have done if we probably knew about it sooner, which is you can actually just kind of paint on a layer of watered down PVA, I think it was, which should trap all the dust down. Um, we didn't bother because we knew we were gonna be doing the flooring soon, so we thought we would just wait it out. But yeah, that is actually a sample of our flooring, which you can see is the same as here. So we're gonna run the flooring all the way through and put some threshold bars in the doorways here. You're not going out, mister. <laughs> um, so yeah, at the moment, we've obviously got like our router and stuff to the right here. Um, you guys might, if you've seen previous videos, might remember that I am toying with doing, well, when I'm, I'm not toying, I am gonna be doing some wallpaper in this area as well. So that's why that's up like that. Um, so we're gonna do a really cool like coat rack system over here. Um, as well as a radiator cover over here. Spot the extractor hood ready for return because it is broken. Um, so yeah, this console table is a little bit too big. So we will be doing a little DIY radiator cover um, to go in that space. So you have to watch this space. And then obviously we'll just be running it all the way up the hallway here. So all of the flooring is in, <laughs> in our very embarrassing, like cluttered guest bedroom, which I organized not that long ago and it's gotten really bad again. So um, yeah, we've got some, our boxes of underlay here. We've got our flooring here. Um, the most difficult thing, it's not a big area to do, but the most difficult thing is basically we have to kind of cut the bottom of our door frames to kind of slot the flooring underneath. Um, because it needs an expansion gap. As you can see, we don't have any skirting boards, so we can leave an expansion gap and then lay the skirting boards on top. So it'll have like a really nice clean kind of finish to it. 
But yeah, this is our starting point. Um, first stop, we just kind of need to get a few of these bits out of here, to be honest. I've honestly got no idea how long this will take. How long did it take me to do the lounge? Do you remember? Half a day. Less than that. Half a day? Yeah, you smashed it out in here. Oh, I thought it was one to two days. But obviously the lounge is a lot bigger, so... I don't think so. The, the issue that we have is it took you longer to do the kitchen because you had to do more cutting out. This room's much more simple, but the hallway's going to require more cutting out, right? So more, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, it is a lot smaller in comparison. It's like an eighth of the size, but there's a lot of doorways and stuff to cut around. You're so yeah, Steve's gonna help me out today. It's your first flooring project. You're yes. getting involved, aren't you? I will be the lifter and shifter. Lifter, shifter, and cutter, maybe. Put you on saw duty. Anyway, it's gonna be a busy day. We'll we'll let you guys know how we get on. Okay, so whilst I have been getting the hallway ready and like sweeping and everything, Steve has set up our awesome DIY table, aka camping table. Um, yes, yeah, we're at it. Um, <laughs> and our saw here, so you can come and do the cuts, which will be pretty handy. Because that's what killed me off last time was just like the yeah, constant up, point, down, up, yeah. down, in, out sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I need to obviously straighten this up so it's not. On a bevel but steps are <laughs> underlay and then we can start obviously with the laminate so important step before i could do the underlay was actually um cutting down some of these door frames so that we could slot our flooring underneath so what i do is i get an off cut of our underlay and off cut of our flooring place them up against the door frames and then I use my multi-tool um, to cut along the bottom there using that flooring as a guide. So you just want to cut all the way along and kind of chisel out the bit underneath. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, that means that you could just slide your flooring underneath these door frames. It will look a lot more clean. So as we go on, Steve kind of started um, doing this along the hallway and I was laying the underlay. This underlay is so easy to lay. You basically just lay down sheets of foam. They're really easy to cut with a Stanley knife. All you need to do is lay them in rows and just make sure you kind of stagger them as you go in kind of like a brick effect. I will link the exact underlay that we were using um, in the description. We absolutely love it. Super affordable, super easy to install, and it has some really good like sound absorbing properties and things like that as well. Maybe I'm not. I think about it way too much, and every single thought is making me. Making me. Give me something straight from your heart. All this insecurity is tearing me apart. You're making me. You're making me sleep. Once all of the underlay was down, obviously we made a start with laying the boards. Um, so I didn't film the very first bit because it was a little bit tricky. It's a little bit different in this room where in other rooms we were kind of starting from scratch a little bit. With this, I had to start in the doorway by the lounge and the kitchen and try and match up um, the boards with the boards in those rooms, if that kind of makes sense. So the first few boards took ages, really tricky, but once we had those down, we basically kind of fired through it. If you're looking to do a flooring project like this, you definitely need a flooring kit. So in that you'll get your like spaces and you get these kind of blocks that help you knock the pieces into place. So I basically just clip down the shorter side of the board and then kind of knock it into place a little bit. You'll notice that we didn't do the underlay all the way up the kind of skinny bit of the hallway. And that is because that is where Steve is working 
kind of cutting down the rest of the door frames as I was laying the flooring. So for that bit, we kind of just laid bits as and when we needed to, and I just kind of cracked on doing the floorboards. Open me up, sweet talking like you mean it, but you're making it so complicated. I fucking hate it. Every time I get too close, you push me away. Don't want to stick, telling me you don't want any obligations. And how you hate them. Maybe I'm not I think about it way too much And every single thought Is making me Making me Give me something Straight from your heart All this insecurity Is tearing me apart This bit of wall to the left of me I did a couple of bolt cuts So I measured out the previous boards And I knew exactly how long I needed them to be So I managed to kind of Go out and cut a batch of them rather than running in and out and constantly sort of measuring and going out and cutting again. I'm suffocating just by waiting on you. So don't call me just because you're lonely. Right, guys, we are going to call it a day here, mainly because, well, firstly, we are going out this evening, so we want to actually just sit down, have a chill, like shower, get dressed, and everything. Um, but it has started raining outside and we've been doing all our cuts outside. So, I mean, as you can see, like, I basically wanted to get all of this done, but it's like, you can see you have to obviously lay it going back in a pattern like that. So we're so, so close to being able to do this bit. Um, but yeah, good kind of leeway with this. We'll definitely get it finished off tomorrow. It's already just feeling so much nicer in here. It just feels cleaner, it doesn't look as bad. I know it's not finished, but tomorrow we are gonna finish it off and I can't wait. So yeah, we will check back in with you guys tomorrow when we are working on the rest of it. Good morning guys. So we are back on hallway duty today. So this morning we've already put on the hallway door, which um, for the hallway cupboard, we didn't need to trim it down anymore. So that was pretty lucky. We've also taken off the laundry door um so if you can hear the washing machine going um that's what that noise is so yeah we've taken that off um which was a bit of a squeeze because rookie mistake we obviously laid a bit of the flooring and then couldn't open the door to take it off so we had to kind of like take some of the underlay out to kind of be able to open it properly but plan is we're just going to crack on basically like i said yesterday it started raining so we got all our tools in but what i want to do is get this piece cut because as you can see needs like a bit of a notch taken out of it. I wanna get that piece cut and then I'm hoping I can literally just fire through this bit. Steve was um, cutting the bottom of the door frames yesterday. So whilst he was doing that and I couldn't work any more up that way, I basically did all of the cuts to go along here. So those are all done. Obviously those sides aren't done. Um, but yeah, I just really wanna get it all done all the way up to the door. But so far, oh my God. We are absolutely loving how this is looking. Like, it's such a small change, but it makes a huge difference. And obviously, we go up and down this hallway God knows how many times a day. So, yeah, it's just completely transforming it. Um, another thing I've not really spoken about is the uh, door thresholds. So, I basically couldn't find any threshold bars that matched my flooring. And the place that I got my flooring from, they didn't have matching ones. So I've kind of done something slightly different. Basically, you'll see I have left expansion gaps. They did say if you're obviously a professional floor fitter, you could just run it all the way through. But I am not a professional floor fitter. So I have installed these. So I've basically just screwed in a couple of bars. And what I've basically got is this oak trim, which we will be attaching onto that. And I need to kind of like stain it and um, like seal it, but that will kind of cover the expansion gap by the doors. And it just looks, it looks far nicer than some of the really gross laminate ones that I was kind of finding in store anyway. So I've got enough to just cut down. You buy it in a strip of like two meters long. So I think I might actually try and do this for like all of the doorways. Um, but yeah, just looks a lot more kind of professional once it's kind of, um, I'll give it a little bit of a whitewash just to kind of lighten it up um, and it should 
but pretty good. The last flooring video I did, I actually got asked quite a few times about how I do the cuts to go around radiator pipes. So this is one of the ways to do it. So you can see here, this pipe is gonna fall in the middle of a plank. So what I do is I kind of line the board up and mark whereabouts in the middle of that plank that the pipe is going to sit. I draw a couple of lines. I then lie the plank to the side of the pipe and I mark how far the pipe is gonna sit into the board. So I end up with a kind of square rectangular shape like this. I then have these drill bits. So I get a drill bit that is bigger than the pipe. Um, and I drill a hole at the top of that rectangle that I just marked out. Once you have drilled your hole, it will look something like this, with a little hole in the middle of the board, which will be where the pipe will sit. And you can just see those pen lines I have. Then what I do is I take my handheld saw and I cut along those lines, but I cut them in more of a kind of fan shape rather than a rectangle, just because when it comes to installing the board, it gives you a little bit more wiggle room to be able to get it in. So I install the board as usual, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you keep that little kind of triangle off cut bit as well, because you can then place that behind the pipe and once it's all in and kind of in place, you don't really know. I'll probably attach this at a later date, but what I use is a oak colored wood adhesive to attach it to the rest of the board. from the stars Apollo get the bed on my system just want to let you know I can be soft on the outside cause I'd rather not have to start fights but don't be testing my inner patience you don't want to cross that line. oh don't try So obviously a second ago I showed you what cuts I would make 
if I had a pipe that was gonna sit in the middle of a plank. This time I've got a pipe that's gonna sit in the middle of the join of two different boards. So what I do is I'll take my left board first, I'm lining it up with the pipe and marking whereabouts the pipe sits on that board. I then take the board and I push it up against the wall and I mark how far into the board the pipe sits. Very similar to before, but this time we're just gonna cut out the whole notch rather than drilling a hole and obviously doing it the way that we did before. So once you have cut out that notch, I just use my little handsaw again for this. You're gonna install your board as per usual. Again, you're gonna wanna keep the little off cut for that. The only difference being you might need to trim the size of your off cut down a little bit because obviously we didn't drill that big hole into it. But as you can see, I've kind of saved that for later. I'll install it properly later. I did the same for the board that sat to the right of the pipe and the little off cuts just joined together at the end. Right guys, wow. so. Look at that, hey? First time you've seen this. Steve's been up that end of the hallway. Um, so we've just over an hour. That's not bad. About an hour, it's not bad. So absolutely bashed it out. So we've got all the flooring here done. We're gonna stop and have a tea now. Um, Steve has been basically cutting the bottom of the door frames and he's now just like cutting back this bit of carpet because annoyingly the guys who did the floor leveler didn't bother putting anything down to like protect the carpet or anything so like the carpet is basically glued down to the floor by floor leveler so we're pretty pissed off about that but there's nothing we can do about it now so we're just cutting it back so that we can run the flooring into the doorway um we've got a little bit more underlay to do which will take about two seconds and then just this bit of hallway. This is the bit that I'm actually dreading because of trying to slot it in around all these door frames and stuff. So we'll just have to see how we get on basically. Right guys, so we are done. So we spent an extra two hours today getting it all finished. It looks so good. So let me really quickly jump back, show you the before, and then I'll show you what it looks like now. Yeah, honestly, like this has made such a difference. Like our hallway's always been a bit like dark and gloomy. It obviously does help that it's really sunny today, but just having the floor down has changed it so much. I, I knew it would obviously look infinitely better than what it looked like before, but I didn't think it would make such an impact on the way the hallway looks. So we're really excited to be able to do the skirting boards, get everything all properly finished off and just looking really cute. I've got some really fun ideas for the hallway. So make sure you guys are subscribed for future videos. We'll obviously be tackling the cooker hood situation at some point as well. But I hope you guys have found this video like interesting or informative. Obviously I filmed kind of flooring videos before but where it was like one of my first tries, I didn't wanna delve into it too much. But definitely DIY friendly, anyone can like tackle it. Um, yeah, so, so, so happy. I will leave the link for the flooring down in the description below because it's like a really affordable laminate, really good quality, has a really good warranty on it as well. So if you guys are on the lookout for some laminate flooring, I would definitely recommend because we are in love with the way this kind of looks. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.